Here's a fun fact. Even though I have like several packets of ramen, I have never had ramen before. <laughs> friends and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be attempting to make trending food from Instagram. Let's just get into this video. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start with cloud eggs and they look like this. Okay, so what I have to do first is separate the eggs like by yolk. I like, put the yolk in here and then the egg whites in here. Okay, I have to preheat the oven to 450. Next, I have to beat the egg whites. Okay, so the direction said to beat the egg whites until there's soft peaks. Well, that took a lot longer than I expected it to, and, um, yeah. So that was one, and now I have to do this one. Okay, so I finished beating both of these, and I realized that this yolk broke. So we are going to be using a broken yolk for this, because I'm not going to crack another egg. So the next step is that we have to coat a baking sheet in cooking spray. I don't really think that this is like hard enough, but we're gonna use it. So the next step is, oh god, yeah, there's still stuff in there. Okay, so I cooked this one up and I have to get it on the pan and I'll do that. Okay, so I got it on the pan and as you can see, it's very cloud-like and I think I put it too close to the edge, but it doesn't really matter. So now you have to create a little like indent in there for the yolk to sit. I'm going to put them in. <laughs> okay, so these guys are going to be in here for three minutes. I'm going to take these out without getting my flesh burned off. Oh god, that's hot. Okay, so as you can tell, the little divots kind of disappeared. So I'm just going to guesstimate. And then this bad boy cracked open. But. Dang it. This is why we can't have nice things. There. So this happened, and we're just gonna roll with it. So we're gonna put this back in for another three minutes. So now is a moment of truth. Let's see how well these eggs did. Okay. So they look okay except for that one, but that one looks okay. Okay, so now I'm going to taste a cloud egg. It needs salt. Okay. Uh, I hate you. I hate it so much. It was different. I'll give it that. Okay, so next up is a ramen burger. A ramen burger looks like this, and it's basically a burger with ramen as the bun. I'm gonna wait for it to tenderize a little bit longer. Okay, so the next step is to beat these eggs, and I don't really know what it means by beat it, so I'm just going to like stir them all together. Like if you were to make scrambled eggs or whatever. Yeah, this makes sense, right? And it says to put salt and pepper inside of it. <coughs> so what it says to do now is to put the noodles into the egg mixture. Okay. Then it says to divide it into bowls. Okay, so now that I have separated it into two bowls, it said to cover them and then put them in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes or until hardened. So I'm going to cover them and put them in the refrigerator for 20 minutes or until hardened. Okay, so I got all the 
frozen fruit in there with a little bit of casualties because some fell on the ground. Yes, so the recipe said that we have to blend it on low until it's like a dip in dots consistency. Oh, on. Looks pretty dip in dots consistency to me. See? Yep. Okay, so next recipe said to add a very little amount of non-dairy milk, and I have vanilla almond milk, and I'm going to add it. I don't know what very little amount means. But anyway, then it says to blend it on low again until it's like a soft serve type consistency. I don't even know why I'm making this with bananas. I hate bananas. The recipe just said to add bananas, and I thought like, oh, you know, bananas make smoothies thick, and that's why I never drink smoothies, because it always has to have banana in it. Oh, it's so hot in here. I'm just putting these things in the freezer, because they're not gonna get hard anytime soon. And so firm, yeah, these are not firm. Okay, this looks fine. How do people do this every morning? I swear, I only have like 10 minutes to eat breakfast in the morning, and then everyone spends like 20 minutes making a smoothie bowl. It's already so melty. Uh, okay, I finished my smoothie bowl and it actually doesn't really look that bad. Yeah, this is what it looks like and it, it could pass as something Instagram worthy. Okay, so for the next step of my ramen burger, we have to, I, these, these are not firm at all, um, so, but anyway, we have to put this in, like, olive oil until it hardens, I guess. So it said to put it, this on here while maintaining the burger shape. And then it's supposed to get crispy. Okay, so my parents took over the kitchen and I finished the ramen burger and it's it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, so I mean it doesn't look good, it doesn't seem like it would taste good, but you know. Oh <laughs> so Okay, so next up I'm going to be making edible cojito. So it says to put the brown sugar, salt, vanilla, and butter together in a bowl to mix them together. So now I add in milk. Then I add in flour until I have a cookie dough texture. Okay, so now I am adding two tablespoons of chocolate chips. You know, I can just guess. Okay, so I have finished this, and it looks pretty cool. It's pretty good. Yeah. I really like this. Last but least, we have rainbow grilled cheese. So I couldn't really find any way to naturally color the cheese, so we are using food coloring. I have four colors. I have turquoise, blue, yellow, and so what we're doing is putting shredded mozzarella cheese into these bowls, then we're going to put food coloring in there. Can you dye yourself with food coloring? Yes. Yes, you can. I'm putting butter on my bread. I'm going to put this on, then I'm going to put the cheese on in the rows. So we're putting the cheese on. Now we wait. Okay, so I kind of cut it wrong and I can't really do the thing where you pull it apart. You know, you can see that it's rainbow. It's not worth it. It tastes like food coloring. Guys, I figured out how you can still do this. So 
so just pull it apart. Wow. Anyway, that's it for this video today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more wholesome quality comedy content. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. So I'm trying out this end card thing, and I don't really know how it's gonna work. So I'm just gonna be talking through it most of the time, and if I can't think of anything to talk about, then I'm going to put music to it. I'm sorry I didn't post this video yesterday, but I probably should have because now I'm sick. So that's fun. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. So um, just stay safe out there, kids.